Continuing on in our intermediate digital rendering skill series. I've continued my sketch exploration of an electric off-road vehicle, this time focusing on the rear three-quarter view. I've selected a view which I really like in terms of proportion, stance, and detail. And today, we're going to do a grayscale rendering on a medium gray background. I'm starting with my graphic layer. I'm given the fact that this off-road vehicle is much simpler in terms of overall shape and volume, but much more complex in detail and graphics. I'm going to spend a lot more time on my graphic layer than I did on the Italian sports car. I'm adding a secondary tone in the glass. I don't want this to be a, like a dark glass. I want it to be almost body color, but, but slightly transparent. I'm also going to add a wheel detail, so I'm adding a proper ellipse. Given that these tires have so much tread on them, I want to be able to still see where the ellipse of the wheel is. So I'm just setting that up. Once I get it right, I'm going to duplicate it and bring it over to the front wheel. Now I have it set up just right. Now I'm going to go in with some wheel detail. So I want this to be a flush design in which the, the graphic areas are not holes but just, just a different material on a smooth surface. And those graphics transition straight into the tread. So the tread and the wheel design are integrated. So I'm adding the secondary layer of black into my graphic layer in order to get this two-tone appearance. Also adding some dimension to that uh, cutaway behind the rear wheel. The rear wheel is going to cast a shadow on that surface. Now I'm just adding a little bit of underlighting to the bottom of those tires in order to blend them into the environment. adding a little bit of rib detail on the bottom belly pan. Now I'm adding a little indication of the interior by adding another layer onto the glass. So here I'm just indicating the thickness of the headliner and the pillar along with the top of the seat and the steering wheel. I'm just adding some final details to my graphic layer. Now with grayscale renderings we can add light as well as shadow. Now on a surface that's fairly broad and flat, like this off-road vehicle. I like to think of those big surfaces as part of a giant sphere. So we're going to use a big airbrush and cover a lot of area so that we don't get any lumps or bumps. So it's just a big fade. Then I'm just sort of cleaning up the edges on the rear corner and along the bone line in the lower half of the body side. Also cleaning up the cutaway in the rear fender area. Next, I'm going to add some light in these overhead light pods. Well, these surfaces are facing in the same direction as the main light source, so they're going to get the same white shade. Just cleaning up the edges. Now I'm going to add some light in that rear cutaway. And what that enables me to do is project a shadow off the rear tire onto that surface in order to make it uh, feel that the tire is, is sitting off the surface. So I'm also adding a little bit of light on the underside of the rocker area. Here you can see me adding that shadow from the tire.
Now I'm cleaning up the edge of that rocker panel and adding a little bit of light to the front fender. Also adding a little bit of light to the rocker panel. There's going to be a little bit of a light catcher there to make the rocker panel feel like it's protruding out from the glass and protecting it. I want this vehicle to look like the glass goes all the way down the body side. So now I'm starting to add my shadow layer just above the graphic layer. So I'm darkening the lower extremities of the body. But I want that rocker to, to actually cast a slight reflection on that lower glass surface. I'm also darkening the rear face and cleaning up the edges. Adding this crisp edge just gives it a more reflective quality. Now I'm starting to darken the wheels in order to give them this dish-like shape. So they feel like they're dishing in. Adding a highlight to the tops of the tires. Now I'm starting to go into some additional details on the lower belly pan and also on the rocker piece which extends into the rear wheel cutaway. I want that rocker panel to look like a different material. So I've added this little edge of white using the crisp uh, fountain pen. What that does is it makes it look like there's a, a joint there where these two materials come together. So I'm extending that edge along the bottom of the rocker just below the glass. Again, it gives the rocker panel that protective quality, like it's protecting the body from rocks and stone chips. Now I'm adding some additional detail in the tires. Again, using that, that fine technical pen. Making these tread blocks look like they're raised from the main body of the tire. Extending that detail into the rims as well. Now I'm doing the same on the rear tire. Extending those details from the tread all the way into the rim. And adding that little bit of extra dimension. And finally, adding that same tire tread pattern to the far side rear tire. I want these tires to look like they're seriously capable off-road. Now I'm just adding a, an extra joint along the bottom of the door and along the side of the door in order to delineate that cut line. Adding a little bit of extra reflectivity in the glass, just to make it look a bit more shiny. And finally, I'm adding some darkness and depth to the background using a large airbrush. That's going to help the vehicle pop off the page and, and let the background recede behind it. And as you can see, grayscale on a dark background is a simple yet effective way to really communicate light, shadow, and form by adding light and subtracting shadow at the same time.